Okay, so we're gonna be merging. So let's say we are working on dummy two, right? And we have a branch which is called dummy one. So we are responsible for dummy two and somebody is working on dummy one. So let's go ahead and make some changes on dummy one. So let's do pH four. Two. This thing did not work. Okay. Okay. So that's our. Two. So we're gonna commit. Okay. So this happened while we were in here. Right. So we were working. As you can see, my man is not here. So now we need the code from this branch to continue our work. So the way to do that is you take, you go to the branch that you want to update, which is the branch we're working on. Um, now you can, if it's a main branch, of course you can click on update for main, but we're talking about a separate branch some kind of develop staging whatever so okay merge into compare to branch that's the one you click compare to branch right now select the branch you want to compare to so it's this one here create merge commit and then push to origin oh now, this happened because the changes were obvious, right? Changes were kind of obvious. Okay, so now we're up to date. Now, this happens when there are no conflicts. Now, I want to show you when there is a conflict. So, let's say in here, F4, and let's call this... Um, conflict one. All right. Okay. So we are on our branch, right? Now let's say somebody on this branch. Somebody on this branch does I don't know H one conflict. From now it's going to create a conflict because it doesn't know whether you want this to be first line or second line so we're going to push this man such a long video for such a simple concept but okay okay so now we are working on dummy 2 and we need info we need info from dummy one. So again, we're gonna compare to a branch, dummy one. Okay, so why is it doing this? Hold on a sec. Oh, because we didn't commit our changes, that's why. Okay, so now we're gonna done it. Commit conflict one, so let's say don't commit. Now I think it should create a conflict, right? Yeah, so now we're gonna compare. Yeah, you see, so there's one conflict. So we're gonna do create merge commit, open Visual Studio Code. So now you will see the problem, right? So it doesn't know where you want to put this code here. Do you want it to be on the bottom or do you want it to be on the top? So once you've made changes, so let's say we want this to be on the top. Okay, so we decide we're gonna put it in here. The magic button is accept both changes. Right? You click on this. 
and then that's it. It's done. So now it's going to allow you to merge. You see? Continue merge. So now you're going to push to Ur origin. Update it from dummy from dummy one. So now you're going to have both changes in your file. So you see? So this came from dummy one and this was from dummy two. So again, the magic button was accept both changes. And that's it.